Now, a 10 News Morning Original. New reporting, first at 6. Big changes coming to the Claremont neighborhood with the city looking into more housing and retail right near the new trolley line. 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens is in the live center and Jared, the city now going digital to let people say what they want and where they want it. Yeah, Jason, remember in the mayor's state of the city address, he talked about turning no's into yeses and converting nimbies into yimbies. Well, this new website is part of that. It's called Claremont Engaged and it lets people get as specific as they want for the future of Claremont. You click start and it will take you to this area here. This website, ClaremontPlan.org, is Tate Galloway's baby. We've designed this in such a way that you can select different sub areas. It's essentially an online version of a public meeting for people to chime in about changes in their neighborhood. We wanted to try to find something that allowed for people again to get into the weeds that they wanted to, but still um, allowing them to do this you know, within 15 or 20 minutes. As the city tries to meet new benchmarks for housing, transportation, and climate change, they need to rethink neighborhoods, adding density and access to public transportation. We look at our housing supply. We look at proximity to transit. We look at uh, different opportunity sites where development is appropriate. Uh, to go over the next 20, 30 years. In Claremont, that means a new community plan. The website gives users eight parts of the neighborhood to reimagine, from the shopping center on Genesee to the future trolley station at Balboa. It offers renderings showing all different kinds of density and asks users to add at least 5,000 homes. One of the keys with this is always trying to ha let, allow people to understand what that could look like in their neighborhood. The city also hopes the website can help avoid problems like this. We have been kept in the dark until now. Meetings packed with residents who feel like they were left out of the process. That happened last year over a plan to put affordable housing in Claremont on Mount Etna Drive. We understand that not everyone can, can make an in-person meeting at the time that we schedule it for or attend a city council hearing in the middle of the day. Uh, so right now the website is only for the Claremont neighborhood and people can use it to chime in until March 14th. But the city says they plan to build more websites and include more neighborhoods for the rest of San Diego. In the Live Center, Jared Ahrens, 10 News. Thank you so much, Jared. So life around Petco Park started really buzzing after news the